drop too low. Okay, are we on? Are we on? Are we on, people of God? My God. The enemy took me off. That's all right. I'm trying to get you guys to come back in. We had a little difficulties with the Wi-Fi. Let me just see who is on. Am I okay? Am I okay? All right, we are back on. Praise God. We are back on. I'm just waiting for you guys to come back on, come back on, come back on. Amen. God is wonderful. The enemy gets upset. Hey, Mother Jasmine, God bless you. Thank you, Prashade, for coming back on. Diana James, how you doing, Mother Jasmine? I hope you're doing well. My chair is not in. Thank you so much, everybody. Please share the video. Please share the video. Share it, share it, share it. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, Carnage. God bless you. Yes, 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 my arms are. Thank you so much, Mother Jasmine, for watching. Mother and I, we've been hanging out. We had a wonderful weekend with Pop and Mother as we went to Commander's Palace to celebrate her birthday. Amen. Oh, happy yes, birthday. yes. It was a late yeah. lady birthday present. Okay. Miss Andrea, I'm completely out of the screen. My arm, just push this. You need to push this to make sure you can see the end of the chair. You can. No, you can't. It's, it's, you can see, but it's very, very light. Okay. All right. So I think everybody's coming on. Please share the video. Please share the video in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody is coming on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on. And so with that being said, I was talking about vision. I'm just going to wait a little bit because we had a lot of people come on. And so I want to make sure that everybody knows that we are back on. Um, I'm not sure. Can you invite from your phone? Can you log in from your phone and invite people? I want to make sure. Because I, I invited a lot of people before we came on. So I want to make sure that everybody is coming on. Everybody is invited in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So I'm giving everybody a chance to come on. We were talking about vision. We were talking about vision. Mm -hmm. Am I right about yes. it? My God from Zion, I'm telling you, vision is so important. It's so important that we get it, that we get it on tonight. I'm telling you, it's so important. Thank you so much, Mother, for your likes. I see you liking it, Mother. Yeah. Thank you so much. God blessings to Mother Jasmine. Amen. Amen. I want to make sure that everybody come on. We had a lot of people watching. Thank you for the hearts, Mother. Thank you for the hearts. I love you more. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I'm telling you, God is absolutely, I was talking about him being wonderful, but I was talking about vision. Yes, I was talking about vision. I'm just going to hold it a little bit. I see some other people coming on. Quinetta's back on. I see people coming on. Be fluffy and fabulous. Thank you so much for coming on. All right. All right. So here we go. Yes, yes. All right. So I'm just waiting for people to come back on so I can start where I stopped at. Because I want people to get it for 2020. It's so important that we get it for 2020. Thank you so much for coming on. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, God is wonderful. So as we talk about the 2020 year, what I was talking about was vision parties. And everybody wants to do vision parties. Everybody wants to, to, to come together to eat. But vision parties is to talk about your vision. And how you are going to accomplish the vision. Yeah. And so with that being said, I just want to make sure that everybody has a plan and a strategy. Yeah. Rebecca says it well. He says, write down the vision. He says, write it down and make it plain. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be difficult. Yeah. You write down the vision and you make it plain. And he says that he who reads the vision, meaning when you write down what your vision is and you read the vision, yeah. You are supposed to run with the vision. I remember I preached a sermon right here at Choice International Ministries. Bishop Prophet Antoine Michael Jasmine, he was on. I'm not sure if Bishop is still on. But I'm telling you, our services start at 1030 on Sundays. That's Choice International Ministries. 
with Bishop Prophet Antoine Michael Jasmine, the Apostle. He is here on Sundays at 1030. And of course, we have Walk the Word at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. So I was getting ready to get my ministerial license. And, and uh, I, I think I received the license in the second sermon I preached here was, run, Forrest, run. Mm -hmm. okay. Run, Forrest, run. Mm -hmm. Because God wants us to run with the vision. Sure God wants us to run yes. with the vision. Thank you so much, Miss Tony is back on. Thank you for coming back on. Darren Gaines is back on. Yes. I'm glad you guys are coming back on. Mark Pierce, God bless you. Yes. God wants us to move a stone. He doesn't want us just to go back into 2020 the same way we were in 2019. Right, right. The Lord is now ready to bless his people. Yeah. The heavens are open. The portals are open. God is ready to pour down every provision that you will need for your business. Mm -hmm. Whether that be baking and you need a building to bake in. Whether that be teaching and God is getting ready to open up a, a, a gate for you to have your own school. Mm -hmm. You don't have to teach in those. Oh, see, I felt the glory for somebody on here. Yeah. Okay? My God from Zion. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss Elmira. Thank you so much for watching. Miss Trenise, thank you so much for watching. Well, God says, I don't want you teaching at a school. God says, you're going to open your own school. God wants you to know that you are the head and not the tail. That's right. That you are above and not beneath. You are a lender. You are the lender That's right. and not the borrower. Come on now. God says, I am ready to do the hard thing. Oh, see, Come on. I heard that in the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. The Lord says, I am ready to do the hard thing concerning you. Mm -hmm. God says, the thing that you thought I could not do. He mm -hmm. said, I am ready to perform it. Oh, see, I can run all over this building. My God from God Zion. From God says, I am well able to perform it. The hard thing. The healing that you're waiting for. God says, I am well able to perform it. Yeah. God says, I'm ready to show you I can perform the hard thing. Yes, yeah. It's not hard to him, but all. it's hard to you. That's right. Because your mind is carnal. The Lord says, I need you to come up a little higher in your thinking. Yeah. Third dimensional thinking. Yeah. He says, come up a little higher in your thinking that your faith will move me to bless you. Hmm. How many are ready to move a stone on tonight? The Lord says, I am ready to do the hard thing. See, that's the name of this Selah spot. Mm -hmm. I am ready to do the hard thing. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord. The things, the things that you, you think I cannot do. Yeah. The Lord says, I am ready to perform it. Yeah. Oh, my God from Zion. Yeah. Hey, Pops, God bless you for watching. Thank you so much, Pop. That's Diane Jasmine and Ed, Edward Jasmine is Prophet Jasmine's mom and dad, and I have inherited them as my parents. Amen. Oh, my Amen. So they are such a blessing to me. Yes. Elmira Shaw, my second mom, thank you so much for watching. Dr. Keisha, thank you so much for watching. God says I'm ready to do the hard thing. That's right. See, God shifted me on tonight Come on. because the Lord it's tired of us not believing that he can. Uh -huh. The Lord says, I can and I will. Yeah. 2020 can be the best year of your life. God wants 2020 to be different from the rest of the years of your life. Mm -hmm. God says, I am ready to perform it. Yes, yes. God says, all I need you to do is to believe. Just believe. Believe and receive that I can do it. Mm -hmm. God says, I am ready. Mm -hmm. My God from Zion. Yeah. To do the hard thing. Oh, see, that right there yes. will preach a whole conference and see everybody out. The hard because God wants us to know that there is nothing too hard for me. That's oh, right. see. Yeah. What he told Sarah. Huh? He said, You will you will have a child in your old age. And Sarah laughed and she said, Oh God, I did not let God say, but you did. She didn't see it. Oh my God. She didn't what she, she didn't, didn't see, see it. it. She didn't see it. 2020 vision. 2020 vision. God says, I am giving you clarity yes. and perfection in this season. Yes, right. She didn't see it. She didn't see it. But God oh, said, God. come on. You, you, you're going to make me run up in here. You're going to make me run up in here. Because God wants you to know I have given you the vision to see it. That's right. God says, if you can see it, yes. if you can believe it, yes. you will receive it. That's right. God says, I've 
given you the 2020 vision. Not only with your perfect eyesight to see, yeah. but the 2020 vision for the vision that I have given you. I am ready to perform it. God says, I am ready to do the hard thing. Let oh, see. It. Let him do it. See, I'm trying not to cut up. <laughs> I'm trying not to cut up. Yeah. They got all kind of people coming on that I've never seen. Yeah. Come on. Shawn Jackson, God bless you. Yeah. Jarita, thank you so much for coming on. Tiffany Griffin, thank you so much. God says, I can pay the bill. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can pay the bill. Yeah. God says, I am ready to do the hard thing. The hard thing. Anything that you think is too hard for God, God says, I'm ready to do yes. it. it to God says, are you ready for me to perform it? Give it to are you me. ready for me to perform it? Hmm. God says, are you ready for the world to see? God says, I'm getting ready to bless you before the watching world. Yeah, oh, yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. God says, I'm preparing a table for you yeah. in the presence of your enemies. Mm -hmm. God says, I'm ready to perform it. <laughs> oh, my God, from Zion. God says, I can perform that healing. God says, I can touch you right now. He says, I can flip a script. Yeah. I can flip a switch. I can snap my fingers and it is done. From the top of your head down to the soles of your feet. God says, yes. by my stripes, you are healed. Yes, he is. God says, do you believe I can heal you? Yes, you are. God allows us to go through things because he's making us a testimony. Mm -hmm. if, I mean, must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? Well, there's a cross for everyone, but there's a cross for me. But God says in 2020, you have suffered just for a little while. God says, but it's your time and it is your turn. The cross that you suffer, God says, you have now crossed over your joy. Oh, see. Come on. Come on. Come on. God says, you have crossed over your Jordans. The cross you bear, the burdens that you bear, the anointing that you gave from the suffering. God says, the cross that you have is no more. What he said, the Egyptians that you see. You shall see them no more. no more. God says the cross that you had, it is now gone. The burdens that was on your back. God says you have crossed over into your jar. And, oh, I want you, you to receive that. Get to that. running. Get to running. Okay. I'm sweating on tonight. Yes. I am sweating on tonight. Yes. Because the Lord, the Lord, the Lord wants us to understand it is time to go. Yes. It is time to go. My God from Zion, the Lord wants you to know that he can do it. I hear it. I hear you, Master. He says, I can perform it. Harder not your heart. Stagger not your faith. God says, great faith. Ho, ho, great faith. Great faith. Oh, God, in the Bible, he says, I have not seen such great faith in all of Israel. The person had great faith. God says, great faith on tonight. Great faith births great things. Oh, see, because we serve a great God. Oh God. Must you minimize him? Yeah. God says, I can do it. God says, I can do it. Yeah. He says, I am well able to perform it. He says, I need great faith on tonight. So that you can see the great things that I want to do in your life. Whether that be a healing. Whether that be a job, whether that be a business opportunity, whether that be a gate that you need open to meet your pharaoh, whether that be provisions, whether that be your family members, whatever it is, God says, I can do it. God says, I am ready to do it. God says, I am ready for you to be ready. Oh, you waiting? What you waiting for? God says, I am ready to move. The Lord says, move with the wind of God. That you may catch me in the wind. Oh, see. Yeah. That you may catch the healing in the wind. Mm -hmm. That you may catch the, the provisions that you need in the north wind. Yeah. Huh? In the south wind. The south wind. The wind of provision. Yeah. God says, I am ready to end your captivity on tonight. Yeah. What have you captive? What have you captive on tonight? What are you depressed about? Huh? What has you captive on tonight? Mm -hmm. Do that marriage have you captive? Huh? Huh? Whatever have you captive on tonight? God says, I am ready to deliver you out of your captivity. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got to believe it on tonight. Mm -hmm. You got me preaching hard on tonight. Mm -hmm. You got me preaching hard on tonight. Because God is a result God. God says, I'm ready for you to see it. 
God says, I'm ready for you to see it. Yes. God says, I'm ready for you to see it. Great faith. Great faith. God says, great faith. He said, I am well able to perform it. Everything that you need is in the master's hand. He is our Jehovah Jireh. Uh -huh. Oh, the Lord, uh -huh. our provider. Amen. God says, I'm oh. ready to do it. Yeah. Oh, my God, from Zion. God says, I'm ready to perform concerning you. Yes. The Egyptians that you have seen today, you will see no more. Mm -hmm. God says, I am preparing a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Mm -hmm. Why do you see all your enemies coming around? Oh, oh, I feel the glory. Mm -hmm. Why do you see all your enemies coming around, hanging around? God is getting ready to perform yes. concerning you. They smell. God said, they smell something, my God, from Zion. They got a little glimpse. They don't see it all. God says, I am ready to do it. That's why you see people acting up. Mm -hmm. That's why you are getting attacked from the north, south, east, and west. The time of fulfillment has come. Yeah. The time of your fulfillment has come. 2020, the time of your fulfillment has come. Mm -hmm. Amen. See? I want you to get it on tonight. I'm going to calm down because I want you to receive it. I want you to receive it because it's so important that you believe it. If you cannot believe it, you will not receive it. James says that a man that is wavering, he should not expect anything from the Lord. Go and read it in the first chapter. A double-minded man cannot receive anything from the Lord. The devil is not stopping you. He's sitting over there laughing at you because you are stopping yourself because of your low level thinking. Your stinking thinking. I've had stinking thinking too. I have had stinking thinking too. Why is the thinking stink? Because it is, it is not good smelling to the nostrils of God. Huh? Don't give God strange fire. Go read the Old Testament. I'm not making this up. The Lord says, I don't have nothing to do with strange fire. What is strange fire? When you do not believe God, and you praise and say, hallelujah, hallelujah, and when you leave out of the church, or you leave out of the presence of the prophet, or you leave out of the presence of the, of the preacher, you don't believe anymore. That is stinking thinking. And it does not smell good in the nostrils of the Lord. The Lord said, now is the time to move. Move with the wind of God. Move in my south wind. The wind of provision. Yes. Am I right about no. it? What you got to say about that, Miss Renitra? My God from Zion. Well, when you when you're talking about the stinking thinking, my you're God. talking about vision. I, I kind of want to go back when you're saying the vision board. Uh -huh. The purpose of the vision board. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. God bless you, Miss Connie. Thank you so much, Minister. Thank you so much for the hearts. My God from Zion. The Lord says, get rid of the stinking thing. Yeah. It's yeah. blocking you. Right, right. It's hindering you. I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon form against me shall prosper. The Lord says, you are your own weapon. The enemy is you. Yeah. The inner me. The inner me. I am my own enemy. Because I cannot believe. Yeah. Oh God, help my help my unbelief. Yeah. Take God, wash my mind. Yeah. And it's not only Hold it. uh -huh. wash my mind that I may see a thing. Yeah. That's right. That I may be a thing. That's so right. a man think in his heart, so is he. You act like you healed already. You act like you healed already. You might feel the pain, but you act like you healed already. The lepers were healed as they went. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? I'm right about they it. They were moving. They were moving. Oh, see, you're going to make me run. Uh -huh. They were moving. Yes. They were in movement. Yes. In movement. They were walking. You have to move with your mind. You have to move the hand of God uh -huh. with faith. Hebrews 11 chapter says, mm -hmm. well, without faith it is impossible to please him. Mm -hmm. Am I right yeah. about it? Y'all got me sweating on you. Walking and believing. To oh my God, from Zion. Hmm. And hmm. the Lord says, 
Get rid of the stinking thing. Okay. It does not smell good to my nostrils. And God says, I don't like strange fire. Don't you know that it is an insult to the creator when you tell him through your spirit, your mind, your body, your soul, and your belief that he can't do something? God says, I am the power. And you are the clay. Wow. God says, I am El Shaddai. I am God Almighty. The Lord says, I hold you up in my right hand. God says, I am well able to do it. I am well able to perform it. My God from Zion. Yes, yes. On tonight, I need you to believe. I need you to believe so that you will achieve in 2020. Mm -hmm. It's imperative that you understand that you have to believe a thing. If you do not believe a thing, then everything that you are supposed to have, the enemy is going to snatch it from you. John 10, 10 says, the enemy comes to rob, steal, and, and kill, and destroy. Yeah. Yeah. He comes to steal, and kill, and destroy. But if you read it, God says, I come that you may have life. Mm -hmm. God is speaking life to your life on tonight. More abundantly. My God, more abundantly. God is speaking life to your life. God says, I'm speaking life to your life. Am I right about it? Yeah. God says, I'm speaking life to your life yeah. on tonight. The Lord says, I am well able to do it. God says, don't minimize me like I'm a genie in a lamp. The Lord says, I am the creator. I am the great I am. Mm -hmm. That is his eternal name. The Lord wants you to know who he is. God says, great faith on tonight. Great faith faith on tonight. The Lord says, I am ready to do the hard thing. The thing that you think is so hard. The Lord says, I am, I am ready to perform it concerning you. The Lord is ready to show off on your behalf. The Lord is ready to use your life as a testimony and as a beacon for the world to see. Will you allow God to use you? Will you allow the Lord to use you? So that he can show others that he is God Almighty. And there is none like him. There is no other. God says, I am the great I am. My God from Zion. The Lord says, I am king of kings. My God. God says, I'm ready to do the hard thing. But I need you to do one thing. I need for you to believe that you may receive a thing. The manifestation is not happening because you cannot believe. You believe one day and you wake up and the enemy has snatched it from you. And then you 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 disbelieve and, and then you go back to believing. God says, I cannot move like that. The Lord says, I move through divine order and consistency. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord. Yeah. God says, I have a divine order. And my divine order concerning you is that you must believe to receive. I am ready to perform the hard thing concerning you. Amen. God says, I am ready to do it. The marriage, the marriage, the voice is on its, on, its, on its way to divorce. God says, I can snatch it with the twinkling of an eye and change that. Oh, see, I, I feel the glory. I feel the glory on tonight. God says, I can turn that marriage around. The Lord says, I love families and I hate divorce. Oh, see, that's for somebody on tonight. God says, I love families and I hate divorce. I love families and I hate divorce. My God from Zion. God says, I am ready to do the hard thing. The money that you need for the building. The money that you need for the business. God says, I am ready to do the hard thing concerning you. Even if the Lord does not give it all at one time, God says, I'm ready to give it an increment according to your faith. Yeah. Oh, see. Yeah, yeah. The hard thing. Amen. God says, I am ready to perform concerning you. I am ready to perform it. I am ready to do it. I am ready to perform the hard thing. The impossibility with the, with the jail system, the legal system, with that court battle. With that legal battle. God says, I'm ready to show off. I'm ready to show off concerning you. Great favor. Come on. I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to tell my business. Two weeks ago, I had to go to court. Adria is laughing. I get a note.
know a, a, a letter, they got a warrant for my arrest. I said, what is this, God? God, I sow my seeds. I'm a faithful servant. I serve you, Lord. So I go to the courthouse. It's a ticket from 2013 somewhere. Someone was supposed to handle the ticket. They never handled it. So when I go before the judge, she was a Caucasian judge. And before I even got to the judge, the prosecuting lawyer looked at me. He said, where is your insurance? Where is your license? I said, I have my license. I said, but I don't have a copy of my insurance. He looks at me and said, I believe you have your insurance in your car. He said, go in the courtroom. Favor. Somebody said favor. 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 I go into the courtroom. The judge is sending everybody to a second court or he's sending people to jail. So I stand up before the judge and she said, why did you miss court? I said, I had some things going on personally. I said, I lost my mother. And it wasn't for sympathy, it was the truth. I said, and I didn't know I even had this ticket. She said, well, she said, I will, I will, grant, the, I will grant the favor that you won't have to pay for not coming to court. She said, but you will have to come to court again. She looked at my picture and said, oh. She said, a prosecuting lawyer has denied you to come to court. She said, you are free to go. You are quick. Come on. Amen. God would not allow me. He would not allow me to have to pay a fine or go back to court because God is faithful. And he knew in my heart and in my soul, I didn't even know about the ticket. Come on. She was, the judge was outdone that the prosecuting lawyer acquitted me from the court yes. system. And she looked at me, she said, Miss Butler, you are free to go. Yes. When God is on your side, Ooh, come, on. come on, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Mm -hmm. The enemy was trying to steal my money. He was trying to take my money in the legal court system. And God says, you will not touch anything concerning her because she is my maid servant. God is faithful. When I walked into the courtroom, I knew that I had the faith to believe that God would move on my behalf. Yes. The Lord was walking in the court system. Yes. Oh, my God. He was walking in the room. I could feel him yes. walking. Yes, yes, yes. I said, God, you are here. Yes. My God and from Zion. And I was not made ashamed. God will no. never make his servant ashamed. Woo. You yeah. see, you know, you're doing too good. much. I'm sorry. God will never make your servant, he will never make his servant ashamed. Believe it. I felt the presence of God walking yes. in the courts, in the courtroom. I say, God, you are here. The Lord said, the angels are here. Yes. He said, you go up there, you, you say what's going on, and you say, the angels are here. Mm -hmm. When I got out of my car, I could feel the presence of the angels flying all around me, mm -hmm. protecting me from the enemy. In 2020, this is not only your turn, but it is your time. Yes. Even if you didn't want it to be your time, God says it's still your turn. The Lord is ready to perform the hard thing concerning you. Mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to go. God says, I am ready to do it. God says, I am well able to perform it. Yes. God is ready to bless you before the watching world. He is ready to do it concerning you. Get your mind ready and elevated in the things of God that you can receive the healing that you need, that you can receive the provision that you need, that you can receive everything that God has prepared for you. It is already done in the spirit realm. Yes. For you, those of you that's waiting for a husband, for those of you that's waiting for a wife, huh? It is already sealed. In the spirit realm. It is already done. Yes. The time of fulfillment has come. The time of fulfillment has come. That's right, Miss Tony. God is able. That's right, man of God, Bruce Carter. He is our shore defense. He is our high tower, our rear guard. My God from Zion. The time of your fulfillment has come. It has come. What does that mean? It's going to happen. It's ready to happen. The only way your fulfillment will not be fulfilled is if you cannot believe. Mm -hmm. God says the time of fulfillment has come. Sow your 2020 seed. What is that saying? God, I have faith to believe that the thing, the thing that you are ready to perform, the hard thing concerning me, 
is coming to pass now. What do your seed do? Your seed it seals the deal. Am I right about it? When you want an apple, you plant an apple tree. When you want an orange, you plant an orange tree. I have received 2020 seeds all month. In the previous report of the young lady that got the brand new car, oh, I could have shouted all over my house. God is faithful. I go to the floor for everyone that sees into Selah. Selah is a good ground. Even Miss Renita, when I may be missing something, Selah has everything. Because it is the vision that the Lord gave to me. Show your 2020 seed. It's a cash app. Selah Productions in court. We will put it in the thread. Put a seed in the ground and protect this word on tonight. Yeah. Put a seed in the ground. Miss Renita seeds all of the time. I seed into seal on my own self. And I have been seeing blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings. It's important. It's so important, Miss Andrea. Put the seed information in the, in the thread so people can see it. 2020. You're sealing the deal for 2020 concerning you. God says, I'm ready to perform the hard thing. What is your hard thing on tonight? Yeah. Seal the deal of 2020. Yeah. If you don't want to see with Selah, see it at your local church. Yeah. It's not about the money. It's about the obedience of an act. Yeah. Oh, see, I feel the glory. Yeah. 2020 seed. Well, I done sold a 2020 seed. Well, tonight you are being directed to sow another one. Double, double. Double, double. I can see clearly with my physical eye. And I can see clearly with my spiritual eye concerning my vision. God says I'm ready to perform the healing. Oh, I hear it so sweet in my spirit. God says I'm ready to give you the finances that you need to meet the bills that you're trying to pay. God says I'm ready to get your child out of jail. I'm ready to get your youth out of the detention center. I'm ready to get your relatives out of the jail system. God says, saw the 2020 seed. Oh, oh, I felt the glory on tonight. I felt it just now. When I feel the glory, the Lord is saying, Javon, my med servant, I agree. The anointing is here on this set on tonight. God says, I'm ready to perform the hard thing concerning you. Harder not your heart. Don't be a disobedient servant. When a servant is disobedient, the master beats it. When a servant is disobedient, the master beat the servant. He chastised those whom he loved. That's what I'm trying to tell you on tonight. My favorite scripture in the whole wide world. Isaiah 1 and 19. If ye are willing and obedient. You're going to eat the good of the land. But if you are disobedient, you will suffer destruction. That's the way it is. I had to learn how to sow seeds. When I start sowing seeds, thousands of dollars start coming to me. I actually learned what seed time and harvest really was. I was a Baptist girl, and I was happy putting my $5 Baptist in. My $5 Baptist. Then I learned about tithe and offering. I started sowing my tithes, but my offering was still at $5. God says, I'm trying to get you past the $5 on tonight. God says, sow a seed into the word that you heard on tonight. That, oh, Jesus, that I may perform the hard thing concerning you. I'm about to get off. The Lord wants you to know that you are deeply loved by him. Oh, I heard him tell it to me so sweet concerning you. God says, you are the ones that's watching. The Lord says, you are deeply loved by me. He says that you are my, my beloved. God says, I've been loving you since birth. Everyone that's watching on tonight. God says, harder not your heart. And to believe that I can perform the hard thing concerning you. God says I can do it. Yes, he can. I see a woman. I see a woman. I don't know who she is, but I see a woman setting. And she's looking so depressing. She wants to believe, but she's hard for her to believe. God says, I can help your unbelief. Mm -hmm. Lord, I, I try to believe. God says, God says, ask me to help your unbelief. Mm -hmm. That you may move a stone in 2020. 
Aren't you tired of doing business as usual? Aren't you tired of the same cycles? God says, I'm trying to give you the new thing. God says, I'm trying to deliver the new thing to you. Heighten your faith and believe that you can receive the things of God. God is asking you to have third dimensional faith. Third dimension is where God lives. God says, come in and believe in the things concerning me. That we may, that we may suck together. God says, believe the things that you cannot see. God says, get your eyes off of man and keep your eyes on me. God says, I am well able to perform it. God says, I am here to do the new thing. The hard thing that you thought I could not do, God says, I am here for you on tonight. Oh, I feel the sweet spirit of the Lord. The hard thing that you thought I could not do, that relationship that you want restored, that marriage that you're waiting for your husband to stop cheating and for your wife to stop being disrespectful, for your wife to stop cheating. God says the hard thing, he said, I'm here for you. I hear him saying it again. He says, I've been loving you since birth. Harder not your heart and receive my love, my agape love. Oh, God is talking to you on tonight. He's talking to you on tonight. I hear him saying, harder not your heart concerning the things of God. God says, I'm ready to do it now. The heavens and the portals are open. He says, I'm ready to perform concerning you. The healing that you need. Everything concerning you. God says, I am ready to do it. Yeah. Pursue it, he says. Pursue my glory. Oh, oh, pursue my glory. He says, pursue my Shekinah glory. All he asks is that you believe that you will receive. Mm -hmm. And he wants you to praise him, not only with your mouth, but God says, I want you to praise me with your life. God says, I, I, I want to honor you before the watching world. The people that said that you could not do it. God says, I'm ready to do the, I'm ready to perform the hard thing concerning you. Oh, my God from Zion. I want you to get it on tonight. Amen. It's so important that you get it. Share this information. God bless you, Pastor McGee, for coming on. The Wayne Winfield, my cousin, how you doing, man of God? Merry Christmas to you and your family. Happy New Year. My God, Terry Seminole, God bless you. Jerry Stout, thank you for coming on. Terry, thank you so much for coming on. My God from Zion, Bruce, my, my, my man of God from Georgia. Mercedes Wealth, thank you so much for coming on. Sylvia Glower, my God, my God, Chris Cole, Claudia Mullins. I mean, Conrad Armand. We got people on here I have never seen before. The Lord has sent you. Oh, I feel the glory. The Lord has sent you on tonight. God says, harden not your heart. God says, harden not your heart. Come on. The Lord says, I am ready to perform the hard thing. I'm getting ready to get off. God says, I need for you to have the faith to believe what you cannot see. God says, I can save the marriage. I can make that person acts right. God says, I can do it just like that. God says, I am ready to perform the hard thing. I can give you a raise on your job. I can give you peace on your job. God says, I am ready to perform concerning you. God says, I can elevate you on the job. God is saying to some of you, leave the job and become your own boss, bossing like a lady. Bossing like a man. God says, I'm making it difficult for you on that job. Because I'm trying to take you out of a thing. Why would you try to say anything and God is trying to take you out of a thing? God says, I'm, I'm trying to perform the hard thing. 
The hard thing is for you to step out on faith and to believe what you cannot see. When you are following God, you have to be radical. You have to be radical when you are following God. You have to always be ready to leap and to believe that he will catch you with his right hand. Oh, see, that's a whole nother thing right there. God says, if you take the leap, I will hold you up with my right hand. That means he will not allow you to fall. God says, I will never allow my servant to be made ashamed. Oh, I got to get off on tonight. I feel the glory in my spirit. God is ready to perform the hard thing. What is your hard thing on tonight? What is that thing? God says, I'm ready to do it. He doesn't care what it is. God says, I am God of everything. There is nothing too hard for me. That addiction that you have, that depression that you have, that depression that you I kill depression by fire on tonight. I kill it by fire. I kill it by fire. I want you to get it. That thing that's stopping you. That thing that's stopping you. I kill it by fire on tonight. Every demonic force. Oh, oh. Every demonic thing that's trying to touch your life. I kill it by fire. I send the angels. You, Rael, I see, I see the angels. Your way, everyone that's watching on tonight, to destroy by fire everything that's trying to kill you. People don't like you to talk like that. God is a killer. People don't like to say that. The Lord killed for his purposes in the Bible. If you got in the Lord's way, the Lord got rid of you. Some of you got into this. That's stopping you from believing. Some of you got people talking in your ear. That's stopping you from believing. Get rid of those people in 2020. Do you want to move a stone? Get rid of those people in 2020. It is time for you to go. I don't want to hurt their feelings, Miss Javon. They don't care if they hurt your feelings. You better kill something before it kills you. You better, you better kill something before it kills you. How do I kill it? You kill it by prayer. You kill it with prayer. And after you pray about it, if God has shown you a sign about a person, believe the signs that you see. That is the Lord speaking to you to tell you that person should not be in your space. That person is your lot. Abraham. Did not become fruitful until Lot was away from him. Lot will cost you a lot. Lot will cost you your vision. Lot will cost you a lot. I want you to understand it on tonight. I'm getting ready to get off. I'm going this time. This is my third closing. I'm leaving. Get rid of the things before they get rid of you. It's time for you to get rid of some of the people in your circle. It's a problem for your vision. It's a problem, it's a problem, it's a problem. When God, when God performs the hard thing, the things that you want to hold on to, you won't be able to hold on to it. If it's not in the will of God, that includes people. Get ready when you serve God, you're going to lose things. Some disciples lost their job. When you serve God, you will lose things, but you will gain more than you lose. Oh, see, that's a whole nother preach right there. God says it's time for you to serve him. And your time of fulfillment has come. I am ready to do the hard thing, thus says the spirit of the Lord. Harden not your heart. Believe the things that you cannot see. Believe that you may receive a thing. God says I can perform it because there is nothing too hard for me to do. God says I can cancel out the plan of the enemy concerning you. God says all I need is your great faith, great faith, great faith. The name of this seal I spot on tonight. God says I am ready to perform the hard thing.
God bless you. Sow your 2020 seed on tonight. Seal the deal that God will perform concerning you. The Egyptians that you have seen on this day, I promise you, you have not. You will see no more. God says, I am sending my east wind concerning you to annihilate every one of your enemies. God bless you. And thank you for watching See Life Spot on tonight. Until next time, may God favor your life. And may you receive the things that you cannot see. Have a blessed night. And may God bless you real good.